All right, folks, and welcome to this week's tutorial. This tutorial now for Affinity Photo is on one of the most misunderstood, and I'd say the brush with the least amount of information on it. This is the Color Mixer brush right here, Paint Mixer. Now, this brush, we're going to approach two ways. The first way I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how it works when you're mixing paint. The second way I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how I use this to take care of some bags under the eyes and some dark spots under the eyes when I'm doing photo editing. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my paint mixer brush and I'm going to come to colors and I'm going to start with red. Now you'll notice nothing is happening because when I do this I have to load the brush. This is different than a normal brush because now if I start painting red, watch what happens, and I drag it down, all the paint eventually peters out to nothing. So now I have to come up and I have to load the brush again. You don't have to do that with a normal brush, right? It's not quite the same. Now if I change the color, I can come over to blue, and let's go ahead and start with blue. Okay, looking good, looking real good. Okay, now watch this. If I drag the blue, notice the brush stops being blue. It actually runs out of paint. Now you can auto load it, and now I'll never run out of paint as I just keep touching that uh, mouse button. All right, so now I got blue and I got red. Now, what do you think is going to happen if I meet in the middle? Red and blue make purple, right? To do this, you clean the brush. Now, we're going to bring the red into the blue, and we're going to start mixing the paint here. Now, you see I got a lot of the purple. I want to bring more red in. I want to clean the brush. And now I'm going to bring more red in to that purple. This is what the paint mixer brush does. I clean the brush and I can bring more red in. Now, you see if I'm playing in the purple here? Watch this. I didn't clean my brush and now I've got purplish blue running around. So you always want to clean your brush when you're mixing and you see this is how you get the different lighter reddish purple. So that's really the big difference in the color mixer brush. Your normal brush like this, the paintbrush tool, doesn't work that way. All right, so that's how you use it to mix colors. Remember to clean your brush, remember to load your brush. All right, now let's go ahead and open up a photo. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open, and this one's in your downloads. Got this one from pexcells.com. And you see some dark spots underneath the eye here. Now, this is a way you can use the paint mixer brush to even out tones when you're doing photo editing. So with this selected, I'm going to do a real quick frequency separation. And now a frequency separation pulls detail in to the foreground, right? So you see here, I get a little bit fuzzy. All right, I think that that's pretty good, about four pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and apply. Now, what did it just do? It moved all the detail to the high frequency. So you see when I turn it off and turn it on, I'm left with more of these tones underneath. I'm going to work this dark area here under the eye. To do that, I come down, I grab my paint mixer brush, and I turn the flow down and the strength down substantially. Now I always make sure I got a clean brush, and I make sure my low frequency layer is selected. Now what I want to do, I want to bring the lights into here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mixing some of this in. Okay, now you see that we're kind of getting a mid-tone here. We're able to take care of some of this dark area here. We're starting to get it a lot lighter. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush again. I'm going to bring some more of that into here. Okay, so you see kind of how we're making this a little bit nicer and we're taking some of the sting out of those darker areas. Now when you turn on your frequency separation layer, that's kind of how that works. All right, so that is a way that you can reduce some of this dark. So let's go ahead and go file, save as, and let's call it I2, save. Now let's go ahead and go place. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you the before and after. All right, 
So I'm going to go ahead, zoom out of here. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to place this photo back in. Okay, so this is the exact same photo. I'm going to bring it to the bottom. I'm just going to merge my separation and merge visible. All right, delete that. Delete the low frequency. All right, now let's just turn it on, turn it off. Before, after, before, after. You see how we're able to adjust some of these areas. So it's a nice way to kind of even out some of these tones using the paint mixer brush. All right, folks, so that's a little bit on how to use the paint mixer brush. I made this tutorial because quite frankly, when I went looking for how to use this brush in real application, I couldn't find a thing. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on Affinity Photo, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss one. And if there's a tool you don't understand in Affinity Photo or how to use, go ahead and drop me a comment in the area below. On behalf of Seven Season Studios, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.